So my topic for today is a little bit more personal. I thought I'd probably, you know, try to explain my motivation, um, my background, and the reasons why I, I'm deciding to become a Sanda fighter and training for that. There, there, there's definitely a lot of reasons. The first and foremost is to prove to myself that I'm not um, a weak person. Um, all throughout my life, I've been pretty much in and out of hospitals. When I was a kid, I had really, really bad asthma. I had to be resuscitated a whole lot of times in the ER. Um, I also would, you know, if I spent 15 to 30 minutes outside playing, I'd have to come in and be hooked up to an oxygen machine and an oxygen mask for you know, an hour and a half afterwards. Um, then when I was in high school, I had two breast tumors that I had to have removed. And then in college, I got diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome with uh, insulin resistance. So throughout this whole life, there's been this theme that I'm just some fragile, little frail thing. Um, my mother has often told me how she was afraid that her newborn baby was going to die all the time. Um... And, I, you know, how I succumb to illness so easily and all these other things. Um, and then when I was in college and I got diagnosed, I that's when I really thought that I needed to con take control of my body and take control of what was happening to it. Um, I got on medication for that, and that's definitely helped level out the, uh, the level... Um, the incorrect levels that I've got in my endocrine system going on. I had high testosterone, high blue, uh, high blood sugar, high glucose, high insulin. Um, I think that was it, <laughs> and a whole other mess of problems that came with that. So I, that's when I decided. Um, well, I, I also ballooned in weight a lot. I gained about thirty to thirty-five pounds within a couple of months. So that's when I decided to try and take control, and I've done a lot of stuff to lose weight, but now that is the time, now is the time that I'm trying to do a lot of strength training, trying to find that inner strength that I know I have, um, and bring that out in my, my guns. <laughs> um, so really what I would like to accomplish through fighting is really is is building myself for the rest of my life making my body um and my mind connected and synchronized in their strength and willpower and also uh, just being able to prove to myself that despite my past I can still be a pretty good athlete um, I've never been called athletic. I've always been more academic and intellectual and artistic. Um, and I would really like to have this other aspect in my life and feel more balanced. Um, so th that's my main driving force, which I think is a pretty good one. Um, my other reasons are a little bit uh, less, less convicted. Um, I have less resolution in my conviction for them, rather. And they include, you know, I really think that you can learn a lot about yourself and about your character in a fight. Um, I had applied to go into the military, the army specifically, and they rejected me due to medical reasons. So I never got to witness that combat and see what kind of person I really was on the inside. Because I, I can sit here all day and tell you how much of a coward I'm not, but until I get in a ring, or at least in a situation where I feel a little fear and feel like I need to punch for my survival, I don't, I don't know if I can really tell people that I'm a brave or courageous person until I can prove that. Um, so that, that's another reason why I've decided I wanted to fight. And then my last one is a little bit more altruistic and larger in scope. Um, I'm really trying to make martial arts and fighting and all the other things that entail um, more accessible to women, especially women my age, because I, f I find you know people in their mid-20s don't know who they are and they're too afraid to go into something like internal martial arts because they think it's for men 
Um, they think it's very masculine to work out, to be strong, and to, you know, want to do forearm conditioning so that your forearms are just as tough as wood, or they don't want guys being able to throw them around. Um, so I, I want to make... I want to make it look cool and help inspire other women who want to find that inner strength and maybe don't have a conduit for it. Um, I want them to be able to seek refuge in martial arts like I do because it's not just a physical art, it's a mental and spiritual art as well. It satisfies so many aspects of life and helps balance you out and I, I just want to share that with more of my species, my, my gender. Um, I, I, we're sorely, sorely underrepresented. Um, I, that's also one of my future goals is when I, you know, when I've been doing this for 10 or 15 years and I get to open up my own school, I want to do a lot of women only classes, not just those self-defense classes that kick guys in the crotch and beat people with your purse. I'm just talking about straight up hardcore martial arts training for women and develop that community um, with each other. So those are really my reasons for fighting. You know, I'm sure everyone else has their own um, and may, may think that mine are superficial or silly or unobtainable, but they're my goals. Um, they're the things that I want to do, that the things that I want to do to build my character and there's a piece of advice my father gave to me when I was 17 and I had all these big dreams of becoming a famous politician and a famous movie director and all these other things. And um, I had someone tell me that I just should scale it down, that I shouldn't dream that big, that you know I should really just shoot for being an accountant or something. And my dad told me that you know dreamers are the ones that dream big and you know the other the people who tell them that their dreams are unachievable or unobtainable are the ones who are happy with just being an ordinary person and just being complacent with their life and he told me just to dream as big as I could and not let anyone else stop me so I'm gonna thank my dad for that a piece of advice at least because I'm dreaming that Hopefully women will get uh, more involved in martial arts and that I'll be able to help pioneer um, a lot of that. So yeah, if you have any reasons for your fighting, or if you think my reasons are just crap, make sure to leave comments down in the section below. Thanks.